Hey everybody, today we're going to talk about transforming the graph of a quadratic cubic square root or absolute value function. So we're given the function cube root of x. We want to transform it to make the graph of negative 2 plus 3. This is very similar to transforming a graph with two steps. The negative 2 will do something and the positive 3 will do something. The positive 3 is going to move the whole function up 3. And then minus 2 is going to move the whole function to the right 2. Yes, to the right, not to the left. Okay, minus is going to move it to the right. So, let's take this point here and move it up 3 and to the right 2, and that becomes that new point right there. So the orange point and the blue point are the same. And then we don't do any flips or anything across axes, so it ends up looking something like that. Okay, let's do one more. So below we're given the graph of absolute value of x. Transform it to make the graph of negative 4 times the absolute value of x plus 2 plus 5. So the negative 4 will do something. And actually the negative will do something on its own. The plus 2 will do something and the plus 5 will do something. So the plus 5, start there, that's going to move the whole thing up 5. The plus 2 is going to move everything to the left 2. That negative what's that going to do? Hmm. That's going to reflect And where does it reflect? It reflects across the x-axis. Because all of these outputs that would have been positive, or just this portion, are now going to become negative. Right? And then we can move them up 5 with that plus 5. And then the 4, what is the 4 going to do? The 4 is going to stretch all of my outputs, or stretch stretch vertically by 4. So let's draw one where it would be stretched vertically by 4 without any of these shifts first. So this point 0, 0 is not going to be done, have anything done to it. This point 1, 1 is going to be stretched vert vertically by a factor of 4. 2 2 is that y value is going to be multiplied by 4, so it's going to end up at 8. So I get a, a really skinny graph here. Okay. Now, it's going to end up like this. But we also learned that that negative, what does that negative do? That negative makes all those outputs flop over the x-axis. So 0, 0 is going to stay the same. This output of negative 4, or for positive 4, is going to become negative 4. This output of positive 4 is going to become negative 4. This output of positive 8 is going to become negative 8. And negative 8 here as well. So now I have something like this. But I'm not quite done yet. I'm going to erase my last pink step. And this is going to, I'm going to do the next steps in one piece. So I'm going to add 2 and add 5 and, and one shot. So I need to go up 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And I need to go to the left 2, 1, 2. 
So that's where my um, point should be, the point point, the V part of the point, of the graph. And then from this point, I go down 4 and over 1, because that's what I do from on the blue graph to get to the next point, down 4 and over 1. Similarly here, and then we're going to go down 4 over 1. So I end up with a function like the green function or the green graph and not the blue. So let's erase the blue and my final answer is this green absolute value graph that continues on. So that's transforming graph of a quadratic cubic square root or absolute value function.